art. Some of it can take your breath away and have you imagining you are there in the painting. And now a new exhibit is doing just that. It's called Immersive Van Gogh. The creative director, David Korins, is joining us right now with details. David, I'm so excited because this is exclusive. Nobody knows where it's going to be in New York City, when it's going to be in New York City. We appreciate you coming on. Good day. Well, thanks for having me. So, David, it's very I excited to be here. David, I have to say I'm a big fan of yours. I mean, because you have staged a lot of theater in New York City, like Hamilton. Give us some of the place, plays that you've um, actually worked with. Um, well, right now, when Broadway returns, I'll have four shows on Broadway. Hamilton, The Urban Hansen, uh, Beetlejuice, and Mrs. Doubtfire. So, so it's a couple. Uh, just, a, just a few. Nobody really knows them. They're not anything yeah. big, you know, not successful. A couple of them have a, a, a future, I think. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love them all. I've seen them all. David, um, so how did you get involved with this Van Gogh Immersive? Um, the producers, I have to give them a lot of credit. You know, it's rare that you um, get involved with a bona fide hit. Usually I'm involved with making the projects. This is a massive hit, and they found me. They sought me out. They did not rest on their laurels. They decided to add to the experience and plus it up in a big way. And when they were coming to New York to make their biggest version of this project ever, they came to me and said, listen, we love your work. We want you to kind of pour gasoline on this incredible fire that we've already started. And um, it's been a wild thrill ride, making all sorts of new activations for them um, to really take the thing that they had and make it, you know, pour miracle grow on it. So, David, we're listening to you. We're watching this immersive. It's been in other cities. How does it work exactly? Because you kind of marry art with technology. Yeah, so um, the, the kind of consumer journey is going to be um, a whole new thing that anyone who's, who's experienced this in another city will experience. They're going to walk in. They're going to be met with um, a pretty magical, fully immersive um, lobby experience and then when you get whisked into the several galleries you get this like kind of one-of-a-kind experience of literally stepping into not only the details but like a massive scale version um, of these Van Gogh paintings and you know I remember the first time I saw a Van Gogh painting I remember the detail and the brush strokes and the kind of frenetic energy that he painted with and this experience allows you to see those brush strokes and those images up close and then at such a beautiful scale. And there's lots of um, sculptures and interaction, uh, interactive kind of experiential things that you get to touch and play around with that kind of break up your vantage point, allow you to kind of see the paintings either whole or refracted through them. It's a really, really interesting experience. And then when you're done with that experience, um, you get thrust out into this kind of lobby space, which we're making a whole bunch of new activations, um, including kind of large scale sculptures and things that you get to play around with it. So it's really, I think, like a full sensorial experience. I love it. It's so, totally rare. Um, how long does it take to go through all of this and um, how much does it cost? Um, I think the prices are dynamic and varied. I think they're like around 70 some odd dollars, um, but I. I also, you know, there's no stopwatch. Um, there, you, you won't get kicked out. It's about an hour long experience, but you are invited to stay to kind of bask in the glow of the experience. Um, this, this venue that we are um, going to put it up in is massive. Um, it, it's massive for two reasons. One, so that you can really take in the breadth of the artwork, um, but also because of COVID safety, uh, it, the producers have done a wonderful job at making people feel safe and um, kind of all things accounted in the experience because I think it's going to be one of the you know biggest experiences that has been put up certainly since COVID. Uh, we can't wait. Okay, now for the exclusive details because nobody knows where it's going to be and uh, give us an idea of how we can get tickets. Great. So um, Pier 36 is the venue. Pier 36, if you're not familiar, well, there it is. It is a massive, massive building, um, intentionally chosen, as I said, for a lot of reasons, one to, for the scale, the other um, for COVID safety. But one of the most incredible things, sort of situated like right down um, in lower Manhattan, one of the most amazing things about it is that once you've sort of like 
taken in all of the artwork and this experience, many of these pieces were inspired by nature um, or are of nature. You get to walk outside right next to the water and kind of take in um, a whole new, very, very poetic um, view. It's, it's one of my favorite views of Manhattan. You get to see the bridges and the waterways, and it is such an elegant and kind of perfect spot for this. So, um, you know, get tickets on the website, on, on social media. It's everywhere. It is immersive Van Gogh. Yeah, I think uh, you can go to vangonyc.com right now. David Corns, I'm such a big fan of yours. I can't wait to see this new immersive. Thank you for coming Thank you on. so much. Look forward to having you. Same.